Hello, this is Mr. Toops, and we're on assignment two. Oh, oh, oh. I hope you had a blast doing assignment one. So much fun. Hopefully, it was kind of a refresher of eighth grade math. I tried to keep the equation simple. Today, we're going to bump it up a lot. You only had one variable yesterday. Today, you'll have two, okay? So, we're going to go through to our lesson, assignment two. Okay, remember, if you don't have a paper, you don't have a paper this is what your paper is going to look like or if you don't have a printer if you don't have a printer you need to get a piece of paper and this won't be assignment one it will be assignment two on it okay you'll take your notes right here and the notes will won't be long then we're going to do some problems together and remember do number one go down number two go down number three go down when you run out of room just keep like a typewriter or a, a word processor i guess you could say typewriter where did i get that from Everyone with me, okay? So if you don't have a printer, this is what your work will look like. Okay, now then we're gonna go to our page, and basically we're doing the same thing we did yesterday, and we're gonna take down the notes again. Okay, so remember, if we have any notes, the notes will go over here on the right. So our notes are gonna be the same as yesterday. The first step was to get rid of the parentheses, right? And I wish my handwriting was better. or the fraction, okay? I'll, I will show you how to get rid of the fraction Monday. Step two, okay, is to combine the variables. Step three is to combine the constants. We did this yesterday, same notes. Wish I could spell. Step four is to combine, or to divide the coefficient. The note pages will be posted on Canvas at the end of each module. I forgot to tell you that yesterday. Hopefully you found that. But the notes and the get, so I'm gonna call it the get started page. That's the problems we're doing together. And those are the notes we're doing. That will be posted every day on Canvas after you go through it, okay? Any questions? So it's the same notes as yesterday. You get rid of the parentheses of the fraction. You combine the variables. You combine the constants. You divide the coefficient. Obviously, since you're watching this on a video, you can hit pause and write this down, right? So if you need to slow up, just hit pause. You can replay it. But it's kind of cool doing it a circuit this when you're watching it at home. You can like pause it and replay it. Okay, we're going to go down and let's start at number three. Okay, so we're going to do number three first. I'm going to show you some tricks here. Notice there's no parentheses on this, so this kind of works out kind of easy. We have a letter, a number, the equal sign. Let's put a bar through that equal sign. Then we have a letter and a number. So we have two letters and we have two numbers, don't we, or two variables, right? So we need to combine the variables and we need to combine the numbers, don't we? Now then, if you have this situation right here, over here to the side, right now move the smallest variable. If you move the smallest variable, you'll always end up with a positive variable, okay? So right here, we have a positive four and a negative 10. Which one's smaller than negative 10? Negative 10 is smaller than positive four. So we're gonna take the negative 10, let me change colors, and we're gonna move it across the equal sign, aren't we? Okay, so I'm gonna take the negative 10 in, move it over here. What's the opposite of minus 10 in? Positive 10 in, I'll put that at the end of the arrow tip, okay? So I'm gonna take the negative 10 and move it over here, plus 10 in. Now then, 4n plus 10 in is 14 in, right? Don't subtract. Plus 10 equals 24. Since my variables are on the left, my numbers have to go to the right. So I'm gonna take the 10 and move it over here, minus 10. So I'm gonna get 14n equals 14. So notice I have a variable equal to a number. The last step, if you look at your notes, is to divide the coefficient, and you'll get n equals 1. If you get a fraction, simplify it and leave it a fraction. Don't make them decimals. Okay. Let's zoom out, and let's go to one with the parentheses. Let's do number 5. Number 5 has a distributed property. Okay. 
Someone tell me what my Bluebell truck is. Oh, 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 I love Bluebell ice cream. The Bluebell truck would be a number in front of a parentheses, right? So this six right here is my Bluebell truck. So I'm gonna take the six and I'm gonna drive it to the stores, right? It won't go to the 4K and the 60 because they're not in the parentheses. So I'm gonna take this six and I'm gonna drive it to the 7K and the nine, right? Okay, so the 60 and the 4K drops equals six times seven is 42 and my letter's K, sign number letter. Don't ever forget that. A positive times a negative is a negative. Six times nine is 54. Sign number, sign number, over and over and over. Now they look at my Ks. I have 4K and 42K. Which one's smaller? The 4K smaller it is. So I'm going to take that 4K. Let me draw my bar. I'm going to take that 4K and move it to the right arm. So I'm going to take the 4K and move it over to the 42. The opposite of plus 4K is a minus 4K in it. Okay, draw the bar, and I'm going to get 60 equals 42 minus 4. 42 is more than 4 in it. So I'm going to have a positive and take 4 away from 42, and you get 38 minus 54. Notice that my variable's on the right now, so the numbers have to go to the left. So I'm going to take that 54 and move it to the 60 arm. Whenever you draw an arrow, you're going to switch that sign, right? The opposite of minus is a plus, so I'm going to put plus 54 here. Draw a bar. 60 plus 54, they're both positive. I'm going to add and keep the sign, right? That's the way you might have been taught. So the answer to be positive. It's 60 and 54 add up to 114 equals 38K. And the last step is to divide the coefficient, which is 38. I'm going to divide those. And the 38s here divide out to 1. And 114 divided by 38 is 3. You can do that on the calculator. Mr. Toops has a calculator right here. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. We need to do one with decimals. I did not give you any with decimals. Let's do number 11. There are two parentheses in number 11, though. There's a lot of variables in number 11. Okay, so this will be a little bit harder. This is test like. Okay. Okay, so on number 11, notice I have two Bluebell trucks, don't I? I have a 10 Bluebell truck and I have a negative 7 Bluebell truck. The 10 Bluebell truck is going to go to the 4 and the 2 exited. The negative 7 Bluebell truck is going to go to the 1 and the 5x. So I'm going to distribute, multiply, and just copy down the problem again. So I'm going to take my 10 and move it to the 4 and the 2x, and I'm going to take my negative 7 and move it to the 1 and the 5. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, so now that I'm going to do sign number 11, 10 times 4 is 40. A positive times a negative is a negative. 10 times 2 is 20. And the letter is X. Oh, 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 oh. Let's go to the next one. A negative times a positive is a negative. 7 times 1 is 7. A negative times a negative is a positive. You need to remember how to do your integers. 7 times 5 is 35, and my variable is x. Sign, number, letter. Get your sign, get your number, get your letter. Then put equal. Then these just drop. 2x minus 5 plus x minus 10. Now then notice I have two letters on the left and the right, and I have two numbers, so I need to group all those over before I move them. So draw your bar. On the left side, I have the 20x and the 35, and I got the 40 and the 7, don't I? So I'm going to group together my 20 and 35. Notice I've not drawn an arrow, so I'm not going to put plus 20 and plus 20 in mine. What do you have more of, 20s or 35s? you got more 35s, don't you? The 35 is positive, so that's my sign. The 20 is negative, so I'm going to take away because i got negatives and positives. So 20 away from 35 is 15, and the letter is x. Technically, you don't have to put the plus to you. Okay, now that I'm going to group together the 40 and the 7, aren't I? We're combining like terms here. I got more 40s than I do 7s, so my 40 is positive. I'm going to put a plus. You have to put the plus here, though, don't you? And then 40 is positive, 7 is negative. They're not the same, so you'll take 7 away from 40. This is all integer work, 6th grade level integer work you're doing here. I've taught sixth grade to, to really seniors, so I know where you 
Learn what? Now then let's go to the right. Another way to do this, single underline the variables and double underline the numbers. That looks a little bit better than that, doesn't it? So single underline the variables, double underline the numbers. Now you're going to group. I need to group my single underlines first because the variables go first. So 2x plus 1x, that's going to be 3x in it. Technically, there's a 1 right here in there. So 2 plus 1 is 3. And then I got negative 5 and negative 10. I got more 10s than I do 5s, don't I? The 10's negative. They're both negative, so I have 10 negatives, I have 5 negatives, I have 15 negatives in all. I'm going to add because the signs are the same. <sighs> Fun stuff. Okay, now then, which variable is smaller, the 15 or the 3? That's right. Good job. The 3 is smaller than the 15, isn't it? <laughs> y'all didn't know y'all were participating. So I'm going to move the 3 to the left. The opposite of plus 3 is minus 3, so I'm going to put the minus 3 under here, draw a bar. So I'm going to get 12x plus 33 equals 15. Since my letter's on the left, my numbers have to go to the right. So I'm going to take the 33 and move it across. The opposite of plus 33 is a minus 33. So I'm going to have 12x equals, and which one do I have more of? I got more 33, so, so the 33 is a negative. The 33 and, ooh, get out of here. The 33 and the 15 have different signs. I won't add it, I'll subtract. Wait, that 15 is negative, I'm sorry. Shoot, it decreases. So I should have put a minus 15 here. So since these are the same signs, I'm gonna add on it. I thought this was gonna be a fractional answer. So I should have put a minus 15 here. I wonder if you caught me. I did that intentionally to see if you could catch my error. Okay, so I'm going to add these up and get 48 and divide by 12, the coefficient, and I'm just going to put it over here. 48, a negative divided by a positive is a negative. 48 divided by 12 is 4. So my answer to this one would be negative 4. Ho, 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 ho. What fun! That is so much fun. And lastly, these are super duper easy. I'm just going to do one. Well, let's do the less than. That's going to be the tricky one. Okay, down here, write this down. Write down four less than nine. Write down four less than nine. If you do four less than nine, you're going to take four away from nine, aren't you? Four taken away from nine, four less than nine. That is not four minus nine, is it? So on a less than, you're gonna drop the minus sign, but you gotta flip these, don't you? That is huge, that's the only time you'll flip. So if you have less than, you put a minus, but then you flip this. Four less than nine is actually nine minus four. And that's what's gonna happen on 13. So remember on 13, the first thing you do is you underline your verb is, that's going to turn into equals. <clears throat> now then the less than is going to be a minus, right? But I've got to flip. That's the only time you'll do that. So 6 less than b means b minus 6. You're going to put it backwards. Equals 13. Now then solve for b. I'm going to draw an arrow, move the 6 across, and I'm going to get b equals 19. Oh, 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 oh. I think that's the only one with less than, so the others will be simple. Notice you don't have many problems left. So you'll finish the problems that are left. On Monday, these are due on Monday. You're going to have a quiz on Monday. If you don't have them done, you can't attach it. If you don't attach it, you don't get credit. I will explain how the quiz grade will happen. So make sure assignment one and two is due by Monday. Okay? This was a great day today. Thank you for being here. Remember, you are awesome and always believe.